No one we don't swim. Oh, I'm happy to be here with y'all and uh, not with my kids. Um, I'm a father. I'm a father. Did you know I was a dad? By this ugly ass shirt I got for Father's Day? This shirt ugly as hell, man. And it's tight. You can see my titties in this shirt. It's a rip off as a parent. And I got young kids. Who got young children? Who got young children? Aww. Do they draw artwork for you? Do you hang on a refrigerator? When is the right time to take that ugly shit off the refrigerator? Huh? Come on, bro. You got a picture of ugly. Your kid has to explain to you what the hell the picture is. My daughter drew this picture of my daddy. Look, it's a picture of you. I was like, hey, man, it's a stick figure with a big head. And I got X's on my eyes. I'm dead in the damn picture. Rip off. Biggest rip off? The tooth fairy. The tooth fairy is a rip off. You tell me I gotta give you money for something you're supposed to lose? That's bullshit. <laughs> See that brother right there? He done lost all his hair. Ain't nobody gave him a damn dime. <laughs> Every one of you in there like, where is the hair fairy at? Somebody owe you $18,000, my man. It's a rip off. How much you give a kid for one tooth, ma'am? How much? A dollar. You okay with me? My ex-wife said five dollars. Who said five dollars? I hope your ass get kidnapped tonight. Put your damn door to explore the shirt on fast, ho. Five dollars for one tooth. I said, what the hell? The tea prices going to be in February? But I gave my son $5, because I don't want my ex-wife to take me back to court. So, I go take two, slip and five. That's how the gang gonna take two and leave the money. The son wakes up, lifts up the pillow, sees the $5. Now he knows how to make money off of me. So the next night he pulled out another two. <laughs> Put on the pillow, had to give him five more dollars. Third night, another two, five more dollars. You know what my son did on the fourth night? Took his grandma dentures and put them on the pillow. <laughs> And give it back for $375. Ballin'. And that's why he's not my favorite child. He's not. My daughter is my favorite child. For real. Any man in here tell you his daughter's favorite. We'll do anything for our daughter. We'll fight for our daughter. We'll take a bullet for our daughter. We'll get arrested for our daughter. And I know this. Because I got arrested in my daughter's school last week. Yo, I choked shit out of this third grader. Now. Before y'all start judging me, this kid deserves to be choked, all right? I'm having lunch with my daughter. She wanted the chocolate milk. I said, baby, go get you a milk. She running back to the table. This kid stuck his leg out and tripped my daughter. She fell. Milk was everywhere. I picked my daughter up and said, hey, little boy, you need to apologize. He gives me the middle finger says, fuck you, Mr. Miller. So I start choking the shit out of this kid. I'll kill you, boy. That's right. And the reason I got arrested Kids recorded it with their cell phone. <laughs> Who in the hell gave nine-year-old cell phone? I ain't get a cell phone until I was 27 years old. <laughs> and she's a funny kid, very funny kid, man. I live in Orlando, Florida now, but I'm originally from Greensboro, North Carolina. And I had to drive from Orlando to Greensboro with two kids. And that's a 10-hour trip. And 10 hours in the car with two kids make you realize how much you hate children. <laughs> For real, I was gonna leave my kids at a rest stop in South Carolina. <laughs> but I'm scared of their mama, so. Right. So we ride, and my dog likes to play something called the daddy game. Now, your moms may not know what the daddy game is. The daddy game is when your kids say, hey, daddy, you turn around and say, what? They don't say shit back to <laughs> For 10 hours. So we ride, and we get the plan. Now, I say something to my daughter to shut her up. Well, her comeback was so good, I didn't know what to do. I-4, 95, heading off right away. She's like, hey, daddy. And I turn around, I say, hey, baby, what's up? What you want? She ain't say nothing. Second time, hey, daddy. I turn around, hey, baby, what's up? What you want? She ain't say nothing. Third time, I'm pissed. I'm done with this game. <laughs> She's like, hey, daddy. And I turn around, say, hey, man, what in the hell do you want? She said, yo, dad, chill, relax. Look, there's a rainbow. I want you to make a wish. Aww. I said, I wish you shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I thought I won. But you know what she said to me? She was 
like, Daddy, you ain't supposed to tell me your wish because it ain't gonna come true. <laughs> and it didn't, because she talked for 10 hours. I'm just saying, the Benadryl wasn't working. Do y'all know how hard it is for Benadryl and the Capri Sun? That shit is so hot. I give my kids Benadryl all the time. I'm a horrible father and I love it. And because my mama told me to. It's true shit. My mama told me about Benadryl. For real. My, my, my mom, my, my son was six years old, wasn't asleep. I called my mama and said, yo, mom can't get Junior to sleep. Man, what should I do? She said, baby, just give him some Benadryl. I said, cool, ma, how much? She said, well, how long you want his ass to sleep for? I'm, I'm divorced, man. I was married for like nine years to a very beautiful woman. My ex-wife was half black and half Italian, which makes her full Puerto Rican. And, <laughs> so I made men take that. She got a new boyfriend already, man, which is cool, man. She got a new boyfriend already. We're actually best friends now. We've been divorced six years with best friend. I was gonna kill her when we first got divorced. <laughs> But I didn't kill her because I don't want full custody of the kids. <laughs> I'm from a big family, man. I'm number, big family. I'm number eight of 11 children. Yeah, number eight of 11 kids. Now all my older siblings are girls, so hand-me-downs is messed up. I'm in the gym, pass the leotards on. Basketball camp, basketball judge to tuck to a pair of skorts. All the, all the kids, when they play basketball, they would wear their headband for sweat. Not me, I had a scrunchie on. I'm dating. I'm dating now. I used to date this old woman. I dated a girl when she was 47, and I was 30 years old at the time. And we broke up, because she said something to me that was unrealistic. Now, she's 47, and I'm 30, and we lay in the bed. And she said, Ken, I want to have your baby. And I was like, you're 47, you're going to die in three years. I ain't raised no fucking baby boy. Like Palmer get you. Palmer comes back and get you, man. My girlfriend broke up me this show April Fool's Day. I know, I thought she was joking, but April 2nd, my kid at work. So this thing, I'm shy. I'm a very shy person. So, I only date girls I have a history with, so I found my high school sweetheart on Facebook. Now, I graduated high school in 1995, and I found on Facebook her name's Tamika. She looked exactly the same as she did in 95, but what they say, my man, black don't crack. You know what I'm saying? How old are you, bro? 43, he lying, this motherfucker, 117. <laughs> I sent Tamika a message, I found out Tamika moved to Orlando. So we decided we gonna meet up downtown Orlando on Wall Street, a place called The Other Bar. Now, she show up. <laughs> Tamika don't look like a Facebook picture. Look ladies, as you get older, change your damn profile picture. Your profile picture should not be your throwback third picture from high school. That's the good shit. Big show up, she 250 pounds bigger than the Facebook picture. Now don't get me wrong, I love thick women, but you can't surprise me with the thickness. You can't be skinny on Tuesday, fat as hell on Thursday, that ain't how this works. So I got mad, I said, yo, Tamik, you don't look like a Facebook picture, what happened to you? She's like, whatever, Ken, I'm going through some stuff. I'm like, bitch, what you gonna do, drive dudes, why you so 